Interested in crypto mining but don't know where to start? Or are you a beginner in cryptocurrency and just want to know what mining crypto means? I'm going to be showing you my brief experience over the past few months mining cryptocurrency in Toronto. Mainly, I've been mining Ethereum because it is the most profitable. Now, I don't claim to be an expert in this subject. I did have a friend who's been doing this for a while who is an expert who kind of built it for me. So I'm pretty much the side piece just standing like clapping along while he set everything up and I started making money. I'm going to explain just my experience and what I think it means and what I've been using and like, you know, uh, my process so far. So in order not to continue jumbling and rambling on, because I do ramble, I'm not very good at talking off the top of my head. I set up a little to-do list, a little agenda. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing this video backwards. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do the earnings first because that's what people care about the most. The mining software, what GPUs I have, the cost, and then all the other boring stuff at the end in case you just wanna see how much I made and just leave the video. So we'll start off talking about my daily earnings, then the mining pool I use and the software, the GPUs I'm using and the cost, the mining rig and the cost, the important sites you should use, my break even point or return on investment, that horrible, horrible sound of the mining rig. And then if I have time, if I feel it's relevant to just like the flow of the video, I'm gonna talk about the storage issues, the sound, the heat. And then if, if I have more time, I'll talk about Ethereum going from proof of work to proof of stake, meaning you can't mine it anymore. So daily earnings, let's start off with, this is my mining pool. So I'm part of Ethermine and I am currently earning $37.58 US per day. So if we go to weekly, $263 a week. If we go to monthly, this is $1,142 a month in US. So if I convert this to Canadian, this is 1,427, which is pretty good. This, the rest of this site, it shows my hash rate, which is like my processing power, I believe. Um, I don't think this is accurate. What I show on my mining, my mining uh, software is a little bit more. So we'll move on to that right now. Being part of a mining pool, you can mine individually, but you it's not recommended unless you have like an extremely strong computer or you can use a mining pool, which is a group of people pool their processing power to further increase their ability to verify a block of transactions. I think that's what it means. Mining is basically verifying transactions on the blockchain and you get a cut from it. If you think about a bank, every time you do a wire transaction in a bank, they take like a $20 fee, they get a cut. Since this is decentralized finance, there is no bank to take a cut. If you're a miner, you're indirectly that bank, you get that cut. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, and I chose Ethermine. The problem with a mining, I don't see that, it's not really a problem, but while it increases the chance of you making money and verifying transactions, they do take a small cut, but it's, very, it's a very small amount. And I, I think it's like 1%, it's not material at all. So we'll move on to my mining software. I use Hive OS. I'm going to be blocking out a bunch of information, which I think gives away like my personal information. Like I don't know what to block out. So I'm just gonna block out a bunch of stuff just to keep myself safe. You'll see here, I have eight GPUs and I'm using the NVIDIA 3070 Founders Edition. So I ended up using two different miners for some reason putting all eight GPUs on one miner wasn't working out. It kept crashing. We tried it out for a few days. We ended up switching to a different one. So I have four miners on T-Rex and then I have four, four GPUs on T-Rex and four D GPUs on NB miner. And it gives you the hash rate of every single one. And it gives you the temperature. This is my fan speed. We left it at 70%. And I believe these are my overclock settings, but I should confirm. Right now, my total hash rate is 495, which is a little different than what Ethermine said, which is 433. Over here, you see these are the invalid shares. For some reason, these two GPUs have been crapping the bed. Invalid shares means when you try to verify a transaction on the blockchain, but the blockchain moved on to a different block. So I think it means you're too slow or you don't have enough processing power, so you don't get paid for these. It tells you your efficiency though. So right now, I'm at 99.59% efficiency since I uh, switched onto this miner. I've been playing around with different miners for a bit. I've had 18,000 shares 
and then 76 rejected here, 18,000 shares, and then 14 rejected, which is fine. Uh, everyone says above 98, 99 is pretty good, so I'm not too, not too mad about that. But this is pretty much a set it and forget it. Um, it tells you, okay, here I have 30, I have eight 30 70s. They just kind of sit and they mine. This um, tells you if it goes down at any time. So the past few days, you see there's no breaks, no downtime. It's just been up and running. Let's see what's next on my agenda. Talk about mining pool software, GPUs and costs. So I have been using the GTX NVIDIA 3070. I don't know why I kept the box. I just like the way it looks. Make sure you get, like for me, I think the Founders Edition is the best. That is considered high hash rate. There are new cards now called low hash rate. I don't know why I kept the box. I like the way it looks. So when you're talking about um, low hash rate, high hash rate, so how do you know? What does that mean? Let me click right here. So minor strat, minor stat, tells you the hash rate of the current, that's pretty much the profitability of your GPU. So right now, 30, NVIDIA 3070, which is what I have, Ethereum, 61.79 hash rate, which is $6.43 a day after electricity costs. So this one is 61. Now, if we go to something that says LHR, 3070 low hash rate, and then we'll find Ethereum. So Ethereum here, 30 mega hashes per second or $2. So you see, these will be the same cost. I think even the low hash rate will be even more expensive and it gives you half the amount. This is less than half actually. So make sure you're getting the 3070 Founders Edition, 3070 FE, and the box looks like this instead of any other ones. And I'll show you what they look like. Um, let's try another one. There's Make sure you don't get any TIs either. So 3070 TI, while it does make a little bit more, so you're only making $4 a day, Instead of six, it is a little lower than the high hash rate, 54 mega hash per second, and it does take more power. So more power draw, less income, less hash rate. But this is a good site to use. I will leave it, I'll leave a link to it somewhere so you can use it. Um, also, low hash rate also can be called V2. So you see here, this is 3070 V2, graphics card with LHR. So these are low hash rate, anything V2, just make sure to watch out for those. Um, and then now let's go to the cost. So from Best Buy, if you go, maybe I wonder if this will work. Come on, focus. The cost is around $768. Now I have eight of these. So we'll go, we'll just delete this. So eight times 768. So for the GPUs alone, $6,144 is if you can buy off Best Buy, if you can find them, you'll have to pretty much wait for a shipping date or they'll be sold out. If I show you how to, oh, this shouldn't have been here. All right, so if you go 30 NVIDIA 3070, you'll see some of the cost of these. Look at this V2, 3070 for 1850. These are from scalpers. If you pay for scalpers, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. This will be like $15,000. If we search for other ones, 3070, I don't know if this is low hash rate, it might be. And this is 1700, a 3070 LHR, low hash rate for 1400. So ideally you don't pay scalpers, but if, if you have to, sometimes you just have no choice. So what can, what can you do there? Um, what else? GPU and cost, mining rig and cost. A lot of videos I was looking up, show you how to build your own mining rig. I don't really understand how it works, finding the motherboard and the hardware and software and running Linux and then getting the GPU risers. Instead of doing all of that, because I don't really know how to, I went to Spider Miner and I bought their eight GPU miner for $750. And it's all set up for you all ready to go. It has the fans, the fans are really loud. It has your motherboard and your GPU risers all ready to go. This is a plug and play. I'll post a picture of mine somewhere, maybe over my face right now, just to show you how it looks with seven cards. Um, it took me a while to find the eighth, but I eventually found it. I recommend using this. It might be a little pricey, like they are making money off of you, but everything works. I can confirm it works. Um, you won't be able to use 3090s because the PSU doesn't have enough power for it but 
just stick with 3080s or maybe even stick with 3070s or even lower if you can. I just, I like using this. It was just plug and play, very easy. All you need is an internet cable, ethernet cable and power supply and you're pretty much set. Also on this site, you can play around with how much hash rate your GPU currently has. So right now, if you have a couple GPUs and it gives your hash rate is 240, if you're looking on here and you're like, okay, you know, um, my mega hash is 39 and you want to play around with how much you can make, go to spiderminer.ca and it'll tell you your daily earnings. So mine, like 495, I should be making $40 before, uh, before electricity pretty much. Um, what else is on my list? Important sites, how to find hash rate. So I, I think I did go through the, the sites. Um, if we talk about ShakePay for a second, um, if you're wondering, I, I released, I released a video a few days ago on um, ShakePay and that they covered the miner fees. So these are the fees that me, the miner, would be earning. But I'm not doing Bitcoin. I'm doing Ethereum and they call it gas fees. But still, every time you verify a transaction, these gas fees are covered by ShakePay and I'm the one pretty much earning that. And if you set up your own mining rig, you'd be earning that as well. Important sites. Uh, yeah, there's not really much. Like I do like the Spider Miner. You can buy with rigs with GPU set up, they are expensive, but I think they're sold out. So they are out of stock right now, but they do rebuild and release every now and then. Um, minor stat, you can play around with your electricity cost. I put 0.1, which is the average, I believe in Ontario. I don't know about the rest of Canada, but you can play around with your GPU. The best one is the 3090 and it makes a lot. So it's making 50% more than my 3070, but I don't think it costs 50% more. But again, my mining rig doesn't have the electricity to supply it, so I didn't even look at it. Also, I couldn't find it at Best Buy. What else is on the list? Break even point, let's calculate. So 6,144 for the GPUs plus 750 for the rig. I'm at 6,894. But then we said I was making, if we go here, I'm making 11.48 per month. So let's do daily and I'll convert this into Canadian. So 68.94, if we go 37 times 1.25, making $47 Canadian. So if we do this to see how many days it'll take for me to break even. If you were able to buy MSRP from Best Buy, 146 days, this is 4.8 months, which is amazing. Again, this fluctuates based on the price of Ethereum. So if, if Ethereum tanks 50%, I believe my break even point would double. If you bought from scalpers, your break even point would double. It would be at 10 months, maybe even a year. Yeah, that's, that's kind of rough. If we go, that god awful sound. Okay, so I'm going to play a clip about how loud it is and my naive, naivete, is that a word? That I was thinking to run it in my condo while I was living in it. So I'll play this god awful sound. That was pretty loud. And that's running constantly, that's running 24 seven forever if you want to make money pretty much. All right, talk about storage issues, sound, heat, etc. If we go to, where was it? If we go here, you'll see my temperatures are pretty good because this is almost outside. I try to keep, if, if you're just running one rig, it won't provide too much heat in your place. It's just not a big deal. If you're running 10 rigs, obviously the heat will be insane, but um, you will need a way to funnel heat outside if you're doing it in a basement or if you're doing it in a house somewhere. I don't think it's a good idea to run this in your house. I think the sound is too much. It's way too loud, even if you run it in a basement. And I believe the the heat might be too much. So that's why running it outside. In win Canadian winters will be good because right now it's keeping the temperatures of everything really low. In the summers, I would be kind of stressed. If this gets closer to 60 or 70, um, I might have to do something about it. There are some issues going forward. Let's go to talk about Ethereum, going from proof of work to proof of stake. Right now, I'm making this $47 a day on Ethereum. It is the most profitable. If in June, 2022, they are going from proof of work to proof of stake means it 
can't be mined anymore. I don't know how it'll be verified going forward, but June 2022, all the miners will have to switch from Ethereum to something else. I might go to Ravencoin. I'm going to go to the next most profitable. But by that time, I would have broken evil, broke broken even, not evil. I would have doubled my money at least. That's what I'm hoping by June 2022, assuming the price of Ethereum stays stable. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you guys? Um, this video is kind of dragging on. One item. I went to Best Buy. I went to where the GPUs were. And I said, do you have any GPUs? The guy said, no. And I was like, cool. And then he said, but talk to someone at the counter. They might have, they might tell you something. I was like, what does this mean? Like, do you have GPUs or not? Just tell me. I listened to his advice. I went to the counter and I said, do you guys have NVIDIA GPUs? And she said, yes, but we can't tell you how many. We can't tell you when our shipments are coming and you can only buy one per household. So they weren't advertising on the floor or anywhere in Best Buy that they had GPUs, except when I went to the counter and I asked and they said they had, which is crazy. So uh, I recommend going to your nearest Best Buy, ask if they have GPUs available instead of paying for scalpers. Pretty weird, I don't really understand it. I understand miners are ruining the cost, this game of GPUs, like even the low hash rate ones people are still buying, even though they don't make as much, they are making you money eventually. Once you break even, it's just pure profit from that point. Another issue, I'm currently not paying for electricity costs. My electricity costs are all inclusive. So all that income pretty much goes straight to my pocket. If you do want an accurate, like I would use 0.1. If you want an accurate estimation of how much you will make, go to minor stat, play around with which uh, card you have, and then use the estimated daily profit after your electricity costs. For me, I'd probably be closer to here because I don't pay for electricity, long, long story. And also I'm not storing it in my condo because the heat might be an issue and the noise, it's just way too loud. Like I was really naive thinking I can run it in my condo, but HEPU is running at 70%. I guess the fans are running at 70% plus the miner. Like this miner is very loud. Even when you close it, um, the previous video I showed included, like it didn't have the lid on, but when you close it, it Helps with the sound a little bit, but it's still very loud. It's very obnoxious. I was very naive in thinking I could um, just have it in another bedroom or where I live. Is there anything else I wanna talk about? I think that's it. I hope that made sense to everyone. Crypto mining is basically verifying transactions and you taking a cut. I'm doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this. The reason why I did it is one, FOMO. My friends were doing this, making money and I wasn't. Two, for YouTube content, I just wanna make videos. And three, uh, just another source of income. I, I kind of want to add another one or maybe two, two or three if I could find cards from Best Buy at MSRP. I don't really wanna pay scalpers. If I can add two or three and get, I don't know, maybe 5,000 Canadian a month, I'd be pretty happy. I do think th the only reason I'm making this much right now is because Ethereum is so high. I don't think this will be here forever. Again, June, 2022, probably switch to Ravencoin. My earnings might go down by half, which I'm okay with. Um, I might, if you guys want, I might do an update. I tried to film myself building it, but it took too long. I didn't do it in, I didn't do it correctly. So I'll obviously ask my friend to help out, but um, I might include just, you might see in this video, just some like raw footage of me just like, filming, trying to set it up and put it together. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'm probably gonna leave it here. I don't know how many more videos I'll make about crypto mining because it's pretty much set it and forget it. You check out your Hive OS, it's working. There have been no blips for a long time. It's just constantly making you money while you sleep. I do like this process so far, other than finding GPUs, which does get annoying. I'm gonna leave it here. Again, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Tune into the next one.